Yes, so endoscopic submucosal dissection, or ESD for short, is a type of procedure that allows us to remove certain types of polyps which either are too large or else um, harbor a suspicion for uh, a malignancy or what we call high-grade dysplasia, which is a step before malignancy to be taken out in one piece. Uh, and these many a time are either polyps that grow like this, like a bush on the surface of the bowel, so we call them sessile or semi-pedunculated polyps with a huge uh, nodular area, which may harbor malignancy or early um, uh, movement towards malignancy, we call that high-grade dysplasia, or very flat polyps. And if this were the bowel wall, you can see how thin it is. We are fortunate enough to be able to separate layers because um, uh, the polyps usually grow from this lining, which is the uh, lining of the bowel. And by injecting underneath that lesion, we are able to lift it away from the rest of the bowel wall. And by doing so with ESD, rather than using a loop called a snare, we use a small knife in order to get and cut underneath the polyp. So we undermine the polyp by cutting through it like that underneath it. And uh, we of course treat blood vessels as we go there. And then what we do is we open this pocket, we call it the pocket creation method, and the polyp comes out in one piece like this. And this is very important for a, a histopathological assessment or assessment under the microscope, because if there is something in there that is nasty, we need to understand it vis-a-vis -vis the whole polyp and vis-a-vis -vis the margins around it. It's like a surgeon removing a mole from the face with a margin around it and a margin underneath. And like that, we have very much oncological soundness, we call it, because the histopathologist cuts that lesion, the polyp, and is able to tell uh, where the area of uh, nastiness is and whether this thing is cured or whether um, uh, it needs further treatment. If one were to take it out in pieces, like with endoscopic mucosal resection, piecemeal EMR, then if there is an area of uh, uh, high-grade dysplasia or malignancy, um, and if we don't give it to the histopathologist in one piece by ESD, then there might be problems and it might need um, further treatment, such as operations. It also um, uh, has a much lower recurrence rate than if it is removed in pieces, because if we remove um, the polyp in one piece, then of course the chances of it coming back are much lower. Whereas if you remove it in pieces with piecemeal EMR, you might leave a couple of cells there which eventually may recur. Hence why the follow-up for piecemeal EMR taken out in pieces is of the order of about three months. So endoscopic submucosal dissection is a very safe procedure done uh, in expert hands. I, for example, went to train uh, for five times in Japan and my mentors are Japanese, the people who invented it, Professor Hironori Yamamoto. Uh, and we practice the pocket creation method, which increases the safety of the procedure. Um, uh, the safety profile is about um, uh, uh, two to 5% risks, risks of making a tear in the bowel, causing bleeding or causing an infection. Many a time, in the vast majority of cases, these are not really um, issues because if you have intraprocedural bleeding, we have methods to control it. Um, uh, and if there is a tear, it's going to be a very tiny tear, which we are able to close with a clip. So uh, although there are these theoretical risks, many a time it's an extremely safe procedure uh, and the risks are very small indeed. There might be some discomfort when one does an ESD after the procedure, but many a time that settles. And if there's any cause for concern, we might even observe the patient overnight or for a few days just for safety measures. And times we give antibiotics also um, uh, just to reduce any risk of bacteria traveling. Um, but uh, it is a very safe and effective procedure and it can prevent um, uh, cancers from happening. So an endoscopic submucosal dissection or an ESD is required when there are polyps that are either very flat um, and large, which uh, shouldn't be taken out in pieces, um, especially if there is an area of uh, suspicion there. So uh, it allows us to remove the polyp in one piece to be able to uh, send it to the laboratory for further analysis in one piece. So if there is an early cancer or high-grade dysplasia there, uh, we're able to understand whether it's been cured or whether any, any further treatment is required. It's a much superior um, technique to removing things uh, piecemeal.
So an endoscopic submucosal dissection is uh, much more advanced and technically challenging than a, uh, a standard polypectomy or a, a piecemeal endoscopic mucosal resection, removing uh, polypin pieces, uh, because this uh, involves us making a dissection underneath the lesion um, and using a special instrument called a knife, we are able to uh, dissect the polyp away. So this microscopic dissection, in fact, it is a type of microsurgery using na a natural orifice without a cut. Um, uh, so it, it can take quite uh, a while to do. So it can take an hour, it can take two hours, and sometimes it can take more. But uh, the patient is always uh, made comfortable with the help of an anaesthetist giving um, a uh, special type of sedation, deep sedation or propofol, sometimes a general anesthetic, so the patient is comfortable during the procedure regardless of how long it takes.